Don't you hate it when your car suddenly gets towed by either the LSPD, LSSD or auto specs? I'll be explaining to you the rules to help you minimize the chances of your vehicle being towed. In the first part, they speak about while the driver is outside of the vehicle and the top rule states in a manner that obstructs a lane of traffic and prevents the flow of traffic. In the first example, we're looking at Main Street, where several vehicles are parked. The only vehicle obstructing the flow of traffic would be the Black Huntley. Even though you may think, hey, there are two lanes over there, why can't I pass it? I mean, you can just drive past. Well, you're wrong, because these are meant to sustain heavy traffic and therefore the flow would still be obstructed as other drivers have to switch lanes, which would cause serious obstruction on busy days. Next we have in a manner that completely obstructs in any way. This one is self-explanatory, whether it's on the sidewalk or in the alleyway itself. Think of it as a fire truck that needs to be able to get through the alleyway. Anything that blocks that access is considered a violation. Following up by in a manner that obstructs a parking lot entrance. This one is the same as the last, though it doesn't need to completely obstruct. Anything that stands in the way of the parking lot and makes it a little bit more difficult to enter it or exit it is in violation. Next up, within a marked crosswalk, usually these are located at intersections. Whoever parks it well, just fucking don't. You're standing in the way for everyone. Now we have the most regular violation that is being done. Uh, we have the in a manner that obstructs more than two thirds of a sidewalk or a pedestrian path. Note that it says more than two thirds. Below you see an example I've drawn a line to indicate the no-go zone, which is red. So the first two parts, which is two thirds, is the go zone. As it states in the penal code, it needs to be more than two thirds. Anything that would fill up the entire green zone and the red and part of the red zone would be in violation. I've also got an example for the mall. These are original stone tiles show half of the sidewalk. This sidewalk is very wide, therefore even a truck would not even fill up two thirds. But you could use these as an indicator as to what the safe zone is and what not. Next we have on any median. A median is a narrow area of land that separates the two sides of a big road in order to keep the traffic flowing in different directions separately. Parking on such areas is prohibited. Following we have facing opposing traffic. This means is that anything that's facing in the wrong direction of the traffic flow is prohibited. This is because you'd have to drive out into the wrong direction of the flow of traffic and therefore it's very dangerous. Following up we have on any bridge or tunnel. This one isn't properly written as parking on a tunnel would kind of seem weird. I think they meant or in any tunnels and until they change it you can park in any tunnel you like. Parking on bridges however would still be prohibited. On any highway or freeway. All highways and freeways are prohibited to park on. As you can see on this tiny map, I'll put a larger version of this map in the description below. Any road with the name freeway or highway in it is prohibited to park on. You could also use the slash street name or short slash sn to check what street you're on. On a railroad tracks or within range of being struck by a railroad car, aka trains. Self-explanatory really and if Lenny train was still around, he would let you know that you can't park there, really. Just get out of the way, don't, don't go there, it's dangerous. Following we have in the immediate ambulatory parking or bay area of a hospital or clinic. Ambulances need to be able to get in and out without any issues, people need to be safe so save a life and don't park there. Next we have in the immediate vicinity of Rodeo Bank's entrance, including the sidewalk adjacent to the metal barriers. So yeah, just Rodeo Bank. This is probably due to the many robberies it had in the past decade. Um, therefore, parking next to the barriers isn't allowed, whether it's on the side or the front, it doesn't matter. Don't park near the barriers. And the last one of this section, in front of or obstructing a private driveway or an entrance or exit to a private path road. Don't annoy your neighbors, no matter what they done to you, it's the easiest way to get even with them, I know, but you risk your vehicle being towed or fined. 
that was part one. Then we have part two, which is single rule on its own. It states, a vehicle parked in a manner not permitted by the property owner. Private property may set its own parking rules, so long as they do not obstruct any public roads or sidewalks. Policies may also be set by a property manager authorized by the property owner. State agencies such as the LSPD and others may set parking rules for the facilities they maintain. Basically, if you own a property, as long as they abide by the rules, that are stated above you can also say well you know actually i don't want cars parked here at all you can set some extra rules because maybe you want some free space at their entrance in order for the flow of people that are walking you know not be obstructed by cars for example last but not least a person who's sitting in a vehicle with the engine on or off in any above location and refuses to move at the request of a peace officer or if private property by the property manager so basically it's the same as the ones above but if you're in your car and you refuse to move at the request of an officer or the property manager you're fucked you're gonna get towed no matter if you're in there they'll just drag you out and they'll give you obstruction as well so you're gonna get arrested and your vehicle is being towed so just park proper saves everyone a lot of trouble really well, that's about it for the 1104 parking violation. I hope it cleared up everything uh, regarding those rules. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below with any questions, concerns, or queries, whichever you want. I thank you for watching, and y'all have a good day.